So let's turn all that legal advice into a real world practical example and see how we sell cars when we're living with PPSR in early 2012. Two sales channels, retail and wholesale. First step is to ensure that your financier will release any interest they have. At this stage, or at this time, November 2011, we don't have complete clarity from all lenders whether they will be registering their interest on each individual car that you have on floor, or whether they will just be doing a general fixed and floating charge um, to protect themselves. But regardless of the circumstance, you will have to ensure that any interest they have will be released. The car must be delivered with no interest registered. On day of delivery, best practice is to consider doing a search to make sure that nothing has happened, no interest has been registered, uh, rightfully or wrongfully, while you have owned it. Searches are point in time, so the best practice is on the day of delivery, ensure that the title is clear by doing a search on the day of delivery. Here's the kicker with PPSR. Because retention of title has been removed, if you don't get payment in full on delivery, you need to consider protecting your interest by registering an interest and lifting it when you get paid to return yourself to a position similar to retention of title. Because retention of title has been removed, you need to register an interest to protect your rights. This has extra cost. But it means that in the case of default, you become a secured creditor and your rights are returned to you because you have registered an interest. You cannot backdate your interest, so you have to do it on the day of delivery. You can't deliver it on a Friday and uh, backdate your interest on the Monday when the paperwork comes through to the Friday. This is the process that every dealership will have to ensure they comply to. When you really scratch beneath the surface of cars going out with being paid, we tend to believe about 25% of the cars go out without payment in full. You may not always need payment in full, but you'll need to decide under what business conditions you will take the risk very important to have the correct processes in your dealership to ensure that if you decide to offer terms you have protection because the car is not coming back just because they haven't paid 